What is up, you guys? Welcome to Sips with Chef. First and foremost, I want to just thank you and acknowledge you as always for tuning in this evening and for being with us, for being a part, for being a part of the conversation. Uh, before I introduce the guests, I want to just acknowledge them. I, I want you guys to know uh, if you are watching tonight that they were um, in just you know a couple of, of minutes, a couple of seconds, like a yes, they did not hesitate at all to accept the invitation. They are willing, they are ready, they are able to just gift back, right, to the community and to the initiative and to what it is that we're trying to accomplish. I will turn off the comments because I do not want that to uh, just sort of like get in the way and like, you know, distract the conversation and the speakers that we have on tonight. I want them to like be really be fully self-expressed and to be all here. I want them to be a part of the conversation and act like nobody's watching, right? We have heard that before. And we're having a conversation that's like completely new, that's different. As you know, Ship, Sips with Chef is, is a show. It's a, it's, a, it's a viewing that we have every single month uh, where there is a topic that we discuss and from that topic, we sometimes have guests, we sometimes do not, and we just have a conversation. And it's sort of like, you know, uh, you know, if you were in your living room watching and viewing um, and, or, and or having a conversation with a girlfriend, like what would that look like? So tonight's conversation is centered around self-love, right, which I think is so like vague and so cliche, and we're going to define that tonight. Um, and the boudoir experience, right? Like confidence, like what a boudoir shoot will really offer you if you have decided to take that on. Um, and it's no coincidence, we do have an event this month that we are promoting, that we are hosting. And we are hoping that by the end of tonight's viewing, you decide that it's something that you want to be a part of, it's something that you want to participate in because of what you heard is possible on this evening's show. So without further ado, I'd like to get right into the show. Uh, again, just an acknowledgement to every viewer that we have tonight, every guest that we have on tonight, being a part of this conversation with us. I know that there are tons of other things that you could be doing, but you are a yes to this conversation because you know that there's value that you have to add to this conversation. So the pers first person that I'd like to include to tonight's broadcast is my partner. She is someone that I have had the honor and the privilege of sharing my life with for over a year, unofficially, right? Um, we have been in each other's lives since june of last year like really involved and really active in each other's lives uh we made it official per se uh in october of last year but it's been it's been happening it's been ongoing since june of last year and she's someone that i've just shared my goals with my life with my 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 dreams with my visions with and she is someone who i invited to have a boudoir experience of I kind of surprised her with a shoot and um, as such I know that she would add a lot of value because I, I know what she was able to gain from that experience so please welcome Megan Pierska to the show Megan please say hi hi <laughs> Thank you so much for accepting this invitation. Just wave to the crowd. Okay, you, you don't know what you you don't <laughs> you have no idea what you're gonna get tonight. So just make sure that you're prepared. Okay, I might ask some questions that may or may not make you uncomfortable. So just make sure that you have something to sip on tonight. Okay, you got it. You got it. All right. Awesome. Uh, next person is someone that I have had the honor and the privilege of working with. Uh, she was a yes to 
her carpet nutrition. She was one of the star tenders. She is someone that I was able to get to know, to build a relationship with. Uh, and she is also someone that earned a uh, boudoir shoot with uh, Veronica Valentino as a result of her hard work and commitment and dedication to a transformation challenge that she was a part of. So I was I was so happy to see her shoot photos, her the result of that photo, those photos, and I was able to see just you know what being a part of that shoot uh, made available to her. So guys, please welcome Madeline Smallwood to the show. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Isn't she a cutie, but Tony? <laughs> I just love you. Thank you so much for accepting the invitation to be on tonight's show. Okay. Yep. Just like everyone else, she doesn't know what tonight's questions are going to, to be. She doesn't know what the show is going to entail. She is just like, okay, I'll be on it. She has no idea what she's in store for. So guys, please welcome her. Anybody does drop some comments in the chat. And then lastly, uh, this young lady, let me give her her flowers right now, all right? This young lady is someone that I was able to meet, privileged enough to meet as a result of uh, one of her clients being someone that I coached um, someone that was in a part of the community uh, and someone that, uh, you know, also came to me and said, I just, I just want to try this out and see how this feels. And then I learned that she was a photographer, that she was skilled in the areas of boudoir shoots. She was someone who just really has a talent and a gift uh, and I was able to experience a boudoir shoot, one of like like my official first official boudoir shoot. And guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about what that was like after, right? Just like Megan and just like Maddie. Um, but this this woman really, really does have a gift. She has a talent. She has a she she's been called to really transform women's lives and people's lives via her photography. And so that's why I just had to have her on tonight's show. So, guys, without further ado, please help me welcome Veronica Valentino to the show. Say hey! Welcome! Hi, thank you! <laughs> Make sure you have something to yep. sip on tonight, too. There she goes. She is wasting no time. No time. So, guys, help me to invite you to sip. Please take that sip. So I do also have my, uh, uh, I don't even know how I want to like describe this, but this is kind of like a, it's, it's a Owala brand and it keeps whatever it is that you store in there, either hot or cold for like hours. It's like this miracle beverage keeper thing, substance stuff, whatever, right? Uh, and it's it's actually definitely one of my favorite. So we have some wine in there tonight, and I just want to be like really transparent with everyone. It's the second half of the wine bottle. All right, the first half already went down, so I am already like in a good mood, if you know what I mean. Okay, and I just want you guys to know, like it's 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 out there. So I want to sort of like get right into the swing of things. Uh, we invited, you know, we we introduced our guests and we, uh, I'm going to explain, and I explained in the introduction of why I invited them. Um, so I want to give you guys an opportunity now to just individually like divulge, like really express uh, why is it that you decided to accept this invitation? Like all you know is that we were going to talk about self-love, that we were going to talk about confidence, and that I invited, obviously, Veronica, because you all have been a part of a boudoir shoot. So, like, really, why? Like, what's there for you? And I'm obviously going to have you answer in the order that you appeared. But why did you accept the invitation? What did you see was available for you? What message did you really want to relay? Uh, what what did you want to give back to the viewers on 
this evening's show. So first, we're going to start with Megan. Megan, why did you accept tonight's invitation? Um, one, because it's, it's going to pull me outside of my comfort zone. Um, so this is obviously outside of my comfort zone, even just attending. So I'm grateful to be here. Thank you for asking me to be here. And um, just to share, like, without self-confidence, without self-love, you know, you really can't share or experience that with others if you don't first experience with yourself. So that's really why. And to be able to share that. Jack, you're muted. Yeah, you're muted. Maddie, okay. Maddie, why did you accept tonight's invitation? Maddie, tell me, talk to me. Well, I accepted, I was nervous at first. Well, I saw the message, but um, I was nervous and I'm like, I've never done this before. But then I'm like, you know what? Let me just share my experience. Let me just, it, it's something I've been doing things to, um, you know, come out of my comfort zone. Just like Meg said, it's like something to come out of my comfort zone. I've never done this before. So just like the boudoir shoot, like, well, let me share my experience because mm -hmm. I'm feeling the same way I am, you know. Maybe they can, you know, they'll jump in. I'll, I just jump. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Go. Come tired of, you know, hiding. <laughs> Let's go. So we're just all we're all about getting uncomfortable this year, right? Yes. Like that's that's what we're doing. So thank you, Aiden, so much for accepting the invitation. Veronica, why did you accept tonight's invitation? Why where were you a yes? You know what? I've been waiting for this. So I was stoked about it from the first time you talked about it. And you know what? I love boudoir photography. I wanted to promote it to your group of women. I have promoted it to the, the women for uh, years now. But you know what? It's showing how to empower oneself, how to make a woman feel confident, how to make her feel uh, exhilarating. I'm going to show, I mean, did you ever see such an awesome photo? She totally stepped outside her comfort zone. Let alone, I mean, you know what? I'm going. Jackie gave me permission to also show one of hers. And you know what? These were women who we brought in our makeup team, our hairstylist team. And we just said, you know, sit back, relax, have a glass of wine. Just let me do my thing. We have awesome, amazing makeup artists. We have Sarah, who's our makeup artist. She couldn't make it tonight because she's on her way down the shore. But um, I'm going to show you a photo of Maddie. She has such had such a transformation and it's such a confidence booster. So, I mean, these photos are are awesome. I'm going to show you a real quick one of Maddie. And I'll tell you what, she totally stepped out of her comfort zone. She was, she was like, I never did this before. And here's just one of hers. This was all, just something that simple. Uh, it boosted her confidence 1 million percent, you know, and it is, it's something to experience. You really got to do this. You know, what is boudoir? Boudoir is, is sexy. It's exhilarating. It's, it's fun. And, you know, get, I got chills and we get the group of women together. You have such a crazy group of women. It's just something for someone to experience and we're offering it, you know, something that, that could cost for an entire package cost. So ex it could be expensive, but here it's just, they do it, you know, they do it as a birthday gift. They do it as a bridal shoot for their fiance. They do it as a wedding present, an anniversary present for their partner. And I absolutely have to show this one. And it was of my young ladies. I think you women are all amazing. I am so uh, happy with all the, um, you know, you with the empowering, um, with uh, empowering with women, the energy, the everything that you have. And I just went out on that one, but I'm going to show one of you and, and Megan together. I know I probably have your permission. It's. Uh, <laughs> She's it's, like. I, I'm gonna show this anyway. <laughs> so while she while she's pulling that up, I just I just really want to like 
to get back to because we'll definitely have the opportunity um, to talk a little bit about the boudoir shoot, which at the end of the day is something that is coming up and something that we definitely want to make sure that everyone that is able to can be a part of. But one thing that I want to highlight is like the definition of self-love, right? Uh, and the definition of confidence. So if, if we pull it up, right, if we looked at it is self-love is the regard for one's own well-being and happiness, Okay. And then confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on oneself or something like firm trust. Okay. So that's what it is to be, or that's what by definition, self-love and uh, confidence is. And I just want to talk a little bit about this because I think that it's so like cliche, right? Like so many people talk about like, I love myself. Like this is what self-love looks, looks like. And it's like, like real BS, right? Like it is. I want to, I really want to point that out. I want to make that like super clear. There are a lot of people that we follow on social media that like claim to love themselves. And that's really not the what so. Okay. Or people, <laughs> that's one of our favorites. <laughs> Warning. <laughs> claim to have like self-confidence and really lack it. Okay. And so that's why I feel that tonight's show is so important because even as for me, someone that thought they had self-love and thought they had confidence, like what I was able to gain out of my experience of having a boudoir shoot was like next level. It was like something that was like different. And so again, self-love is regard for one's own well-being and happiness. And confidence is the feeling or belief that one can rely on someone or something. Okay. So the reason why we as women and as a community like promote like self-love and confidence is because I saw that for a long time, even as a health coach, I was able to see people, for example, like lose weight, right? Uh, get it like, get like a transformation that like really was like kind of like jaw dropping, right? So some women like over a hundred pounds, I lost 50 pounds, I lost 40 pounds, I lost 60 pounds, but still looked at themselves in the mirror and said, oh my God, but like my arm, this, or like my back, oh my God, like look at my leg, or like, look at my hair, my lips, my nose, my eyes, my this, like, because at the end of the day, we're like our own worst critics. So being able to be a part of that boudoir shoot and what Veronica was able to offer me had me leave that experience. I really want to refer to a boudoir shoot like as an experience. It had me leave that experience like I am am a bad B. Like the things that she says, the things that she does, the experience that she has, the photos that she takes, the ambiance that she creates, like all of that coupled together had me really leave there knowing that I gifted myself an experience that will last a lifetime that I gifted myself an experience that was like transformative, that gave me something different than what I had been used to. Yes, I know how to lose weight. Yes, I know how to put on makeup and transform my face, right, in my appearance. Yes, I have all that. But this shoot, right, this shoot, for whatever reason it is that you are gifting yourself that experience, this shoot gave me something different different. And I explained to people like you leave there kind of like how in the movie Stella, Gra Stella Gra got her groove back. Is that the name of the movie? Stella got her groove back when she's walking away and like, she's, she's, she's like lighting up the car behind her and all of that. It had me leave that shoot kind of like a, I'm ready. I'm ready to take on anything else. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that tonight. So 
I want to ask every one of our guests individually, like what your shoot experience was like individually, like really walk us through and be as vivid as you can and tell us what, what your shoot was like, what that experience was like for you and why, like why, why you're inviting every single one of our guests to be a part of the event that we're having this month. So Megan, we'll start with you. Take yourself off mute and share, please. So I know for me, one of the, I never, I had never had my makeup done professionally ever in, I'm 36. So in 36 years, I have never had my makeup done professionally. I don't usually wear makeup, so I can't say I really know how to do makeup. Um, so that in itself was an experience. <laughs> just being with Sarah, she was so cute. Like she was so just reassuring. And like she she, she has something about herself that's just very relaxing within herself. Um, so that just being with someone who even just their ambiance relaxes you um, overall. Um, so the makeup one, just completely blew me away because I've never seen my, I've never seen myself in that type. I, I've never worn lashes before. I've never, like I said, ever, just I've never had my makeup done ever professionally. Um, and then just the experience of being with Veronica. She's so fun. <laughs> it's just so fun to be with which for me makes it just even more relaxing. I'm already a nervous person. Um, so just being able to be with someone who helps you to feel confident within yourself, um, helps you to relax, helps you to find ways to make it fun, um, helps you to settle in. Um, you know, she really guided me in just relaxing. So just being able to be in a space with people because it's it wasn't just one person it was people who you know helped me to one feel and see the beauty and the confidence within myself um i mean i can reflect back on times where i would ask my mom like mom why are people staring at me you know and she's like oh because you're so beautiful and it's like it's easy to say but you know, as women, you know, we have to like, really like, like you said, like we constantly critique ourselves no matter what. So um, the boudoir experience just was just, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, the way that you, you see yourself in a completely different light. You don't, I mean, at least for myself, like I didn't, when I see myself, I don't see myself when I look in the mirror every day. You know, I see a different part of me, a much more confident, beautiful in other ways than the Megan that looks in the mirror every day and critiques herself. Yeah, and one of the things that I that I do want to point out and an acknowledgement that I have to make is uh, to Norma. I believe that her uh, brand is my photo to photography. Uh, we did have a photo shoot before. This is not Megan's first photo shoot. This is, however, Megan's first experience in like the professional makeup, uh, in the like like boudoir, right? Like this is like really the intention. Uh, this is Megan's second photo shoot, but Megan was exposed to, or she did have an opportunity to have a shoot before, and it was like so completely like just like it, 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 it can be described as like a little bit nerve wracking, right? I think the experience with Veronica is a little different because she does work with someone that does offer the, the, uh, the professional makeup, right? And as she said, like Sarah is, is a professional in her field. She's someone that has worked for, um, I believe Sephora. Is it Sephora Veronica that she worked with? You can take yourself off. She worked with Mac. There you go. I took you off mute. I'm sorry. She worked with Mac. And so she she definitely she she was a part of that. Um and she, you know, so she saw women every day. She was someone that 
that meant different people. And so because she has that background, she's sort of like, hey, listen, like she's even someone that can look at you and say, you know what, this is this is the look that I see for you um, without even having to like really ask, even though obviously what matters to you and what you want is important, but she has the eye where she's able to yeah. look at you and say, you have the eyes for this. You have the lips for that, right? Like, like you have the face for this. And, you know, from, from the, from the very beginning, the experience was kind of like relaxing. Like it gave Megan, Megan and myself, like the confidence that we were in good hands, like just sit back, relax, chill. Right. Um, we, I got you. Like, I know what suits you based on your skin tone, based on your appearance, based on what it is that we're looking to really accomplish today. This is what I know is good for you. So Megan was like in her element, like she was chilling, she was vibing. You know, we had some music playing in the background. We had some some drinks going, some of which were herbal life, some of which may not have been. Okay. All right. All right. You just have to be there to, to know exactly what we're referring to. But at the end of the day, when she was ready, she was able to look at herself in the mirror and be like, wow, like this is me. Like this is me. Like this is the best transformed version of myself. And because she got that experience, she was able to go into her photo shoot like in a different round. She was she was like, bring it. Like kind of like I'm ready. I got this, right? I like I know what it is that I have to give this camera. So next we have Maddie. Maddie, tell me a little bit about what your experience was like for you. Okay. You said from beginning to the end. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> All right. First of all, I was excited. Like I was shocked when I won the, the you know, the, you know, the photo shoot. And at the same time, I was thinking, you know, because I always wanted to do um, a boudoir shoot. I always wanted to do one that was on my list to do. So I'm like, OK, one day I'll do one. But I said, you know, I was comparing myself to, you know, other people. Well, this how you should look. Uh, this how I should look. If I'm gonna do something like that. So it was, I think it was my first um my first challenge I was in. And you know, I did my thing and my challenge. So when I found that I won, I was excited and nervous at the same time. But then setting up my appointment, I'm getting nervous, nervous. Then I said to myself, I'm going to a stranger house and I'm getting photos taken. <laughs> I'm gonna have my booty out. I'm like, what is going on? I'm shopping, shopping for, you know, what I'm going to wear. Unfortunately, what I originally was going to wear, it got shipped to somebody else's house. They must have stole it. Well, whatever. I found what I needed to wear. <laughs> so I pull up at the house. I'm still nervous. So uh, I think um, Veronica came to the door or something to see <laughs> to her house. And one like going in, like the the environment, like when you walk into her house, it's like welcoming. And her dog was there. So I'm like, okay. I started, you know, she was like, okay, go in, offer me something to drink, you know, sitting in the makeup chair. I had my makeup done professional well, yeah, professionally last time was in 2010 for my wedding. But I'm sitting there and I'm like, Ugh she really gonna catch my skin tone like in my head <laughs> but <laughs> you're like girl do you have my my tone available like do you have my <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like i'm in the chair and sarah first of all from that experience she she made me feel really comfortable doing my makeup and everything when she was done i'm like that's me that's me so, all right, it's time for me to put on the clothes. I'm like, oh, the dog there staring at me. A <laughs> little dog that she has. So I'm like, I'm going to change to my clothes. But Veronica really made me feel comfortable. Like I said, I was like in my head, I was thinking, wow, I can't believe that I'm doing this. Like I'm really doing this. It's something I wanted to do. I was afraid to do because I was always, you know, judging like, okay, I got a big belly. 
or um, you know, I got Come this. On. Talk to him. <laughs> but Tell like, him because oh, that's right. every that's what everybody is saying right now to themselves. <laughs> Go ahead. So I'm like, all my life I had fear hold me back from things, you know, that you know, I I always want I'm like, well, let me just do it because you know, if I die tomorrow, I'm gonna regret not doing it. And it's all about me. Like the time you can't get your time back. You can't like you can't go back and be like, oh, I wish I did this or I wish I did that. Let me just go for it. So I just been this like person. Let, let me just go for it. Just like when you call and you know, text and said you want to do this. I said, let me just go for it. I've been like, go for it. So she made me feel really comfortable during the photo shoot. And you know, I felt really sexy. She's like, oh, I felt so comfortable. I had a little nip slip. I was like, oh, <laughs> my nip. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's that's fine. That's fine. Oops. <laughs> I'm like, oops. She's like, okay, I can crop that out. That's okay. I can crop that out. But um, like the change and like, and I saw the photos and I was, I'm sad with them myself, and I'm like, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe that's me stepping outside my comfort zone, seeing myself outside of myself it was like, like that. I'm like, and it did give me a confident boost because I can compare myself to myself and not other people so yeah that was just like my experience from the beginning to the end <laughs> you would never know let's that. go i love it i am like it's like if i've been through too much in my life i've been you know you know even as a child like people can criticize children and i remember being young and older guy was like well if you do this to your nose it wouldn't be so wide so i was always like my face and everything but i said you know what i'm beautiful yes i said, Don't you? I said that's me that's maddie let's, <laughs> that's go. Me. let's go so yeah i really enjoyed it and thank you i i remember i remember seeing your photos <laughs> posted and being like go ahead maddie <laughs> Like it, it really was one of those experiences. And even for Megan, it was like, you know, even someone that, you know, at the end of the day, again, even for myself, like someone that has confidence, like it's a confident boost. It's like next, it's a, it's a next level experience. It's something that reminds you that like, you know, you are perfectly, you are wonderfully made, right? You have, you have so much to contribute and so much to gift. But now I think that um, it's so important that we hear from Veronica herself because I think it's, it's exciting. It's important for us to understand like what made you, right? Like, like what made you, what had you be someone that took on photography and that offered women this type of, of experience? Like why a boudoir shoot? Right? Why you? Why now? Why? Take it away. You know what? I did it for me. I was always used to being behind the camera. And then one of my teachers, I say, you know what? I said, I really want to do a boudoir shoot. I want to feel good about myself. I dropped 50 pounds. I turned 50 years old. I say, you know what? I'm going to do it. And I invested. I mean, it wasn't cheap. It was $1,850. So that's what boudoir shoots can run. I went up to New York and I said, you know what? I don't care. All inhibitions out the window and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm like, I didn't like my photos taken. I was like, F it. I'm doing it. I don't care. And you see those leopard shoes I had on you, Maddie, and I had on you, uh, Jackie. They are my favorite shoes. <laughs> it's just so, you know what? Let me tell you something. Boudoir photo, photo shoots encourage you to love and embrace your body and have a new appreciation for yourself. Okay. It's just, uh, just the way you are. All right. Each boudoir shoot is unique. It's just like you. Uh, you're showing many sides of your unique personality, your bold personality, your romantic. It's a great reason to finally buy something and wear something cute and sexy lingerie. A, a, you know what? A size is just a number. We photograph size zero. We photograph size 4X. Okay, 
I can make you look beautiful and be comfortable, comfortable in, in your size. You know what? Hey, can you say, hey, can I have like a little nip and tuck? Yeah, we can do that. But I like to photograph organically. I like to uh, deconstruct. I like the candid moments. I like the little like, oh, like, oh, hold that, hold that, don't move. You know, it's just like grab it. Like Jackie was the worst. I was like, stay right there. You just did something. Oh my God. Hold that look. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know what? And we try to in in include everything. Sarah is an awesome makeup artist. We got her out of Mac. Uh, she's phenomenal. And again, boudoir is all about expressing the beauty of an individual. If you want to do something a little, little bit alternative and a little bit, you want to hold the crop or you want to hold the, you know, you want your handcuffs, to, you know, handcuffed and furry handcuffs, we can do it. You know, we can put you in boots. I put my my 60-year-old sister in a boudoir photo shoot. She never did it before. We put a uh, we put a freaking leather corset on her. And, you know, we popped her on the chase. Uh, I actually, I shoot out of my home. I have an entire remodeled home. Um, matter of fact, I have a bedroom that is specifically for uh, just my photo shoots. And a great thing about it, too, is you can get them right away. You know, you, you got to at least give me 24 hours. I got to look at the photos. But when I start seeing photos that are really beautiful, you know, Megan, stunning. Maddie, stunning. Jackie, stunning. I haven't even shown your pictures. <laughs> but I will. <laughs> you know what? I actually, I, I kind of, you know, um, did like a, a mock wedding. And, you know, just putting them two together and, you know, photographing each one separately and then putting together. I mean, it's just let yourself go. Do something for yourself. Enjoy yourself. We only have one life. If you have it on that bucket list, you know, do it. Drink that wine. Eat that piece of cake. I could still make you look gorgeous. <laughs> And you know what? You get so much out of it. And Jackie's promoting, you know, a group shoot with her group. And the ladies are phenomenal. I've met some of them. I met them one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you know, I just have, um, uh, you know, I just, I have the utmost respect for all of you women who have empowered yourselves by losing weight to be confident, to step out of your comfort zone, just because, because you love yourself, you know, do it, celebrate a milestone, you know, um, you know, make it a girl's day out, a bachelorette party, just a get together, you know, you can do something and have fun and enjoy it and just relax and have a great time. Did I talk enough? <laughs> Thank you. No, seriously. So, so I have to acknowledge. So we're right now we're at 38 minutes. So we're like way a little bit over past the half mark of the show. So ladies sip, if you have not done oh, so, no. this will ensure so that you are well hydrated, but we have some people on the show that have never had a boudoir shoot that are registered, that are committed. I just want to point out that we do have, uh, you can find her on Veronica Valentino Photography on Instagram. And I have listed her Instagram at the bottom of this viewing so that you guys can follow her. Please do that. You'll see a lot more than just boudoir shoots. Obviously, she is a regular photographer. She has done weddings. She has done bar misfits. She has done just like baby showers, whatever it is that you want her to do. She's available for. It's just tonight we are highlighting boudoir shoots. And one of the things that I want to go over is um, what the definition is. Like if you look it up, like what, what that means, like what does that even mean? Right? Because we have posted it and some people have asked like, what is that? Like what exactly is a boudoir shoot? And Everybody's going to give you different definitions of it, but I want you to know, according to this article that I pulled up, is the gorgeous, glamorous, and confident you. Do you remember or even know that person? Maybe not, right? A boudoir shoot 
session can help you reconnect with her, whoever she is. It will help you see yourself as you really are, as a person who loves, who love to see you. It's about you and your body, whatever that may look like. It's about self-confidence and getting out of your comfort zone. It's about celebrating yourself just as you are. It's about trust, like really trusting Veronica to do what she does and to do it professionally and just letting go, like the letting go attitude, the like letting go of like having everything look a certain way, right? She's not going to post anything that you're not comfortable with her posting, right? She's going to ask you what you're comfortable with her posting, and she's only going to post whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, it's about empowering and pride. As I said, I was able to leave that shoot like, yo, I'm a bad B, and I'm like going to I like post it all, like whatever you have, like post it, whatever, whatever you want to post, whatever you feel that I look the best in, like post it. Uh, it's a unique gift to yourself. It could be a ton of fun. So different people do it for like uh, an anniversary gift, a wedding gift. Some people do it again because there's like a, like a woman empowerment kind of like I, I just need a confident boost. Different Some people do it for like a, a wedding shower. Different people do it for different things. Uh, but we at Fiery Reds, we are a women empowering, empowerment group that do one event every month. Obviously, when COVID happened, we had to stop with the live events and we stopped with the uh, gatherings. And so this is like our second event back live. Woo! There she is. So uh, this is our one of our events like back. Obviously, this is an all day event where we're like going to get together. And so I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what a boudoir shoot is like. So the next question is, uh, what are your thoughts? Like, why do you feel we're at 42 minutes, right? The show is unfortunately almost over. Why would you like in your, in your words, why do you feel that women need to say yes and be a part of this event that we're about to have? So maybe take yourself off mute and answer that question, please. Um, one for the experience, um, just in itself. And um, to really be able to see yourself through a different set of eyes, because you're not going to look at yourself the same when you see it, when you see those photos, when you see yourself in those photos, when you just see that person, um, you know, like I, I really enjoyed when Maddie said, like, she was like, that's me. You know, like that's someone that's who you are, you know, and you and it's just you just don't see yourself that way. So really being able to see yourself in a way, like I said, that you don't see yourself every day in the mirror. And one of the things that I want to just add and one of the things that I want to like really make clear is that Veronica will not post any picture that you're not comfortable with her posting. OK. And if, you know, the shoe is something that you're doing for yourself and you want to keep private and you want nobody to know that you did it, that's fine, right? We're going to set it up in a way where you have your own private shoe. If you want nobody else in the room, right, I will not be there. Megan will not be there. Maddie will not be there, right? Obviously, Veronica has to be there because she's the photographer, but she makes it such an comfortable experience for you. She's, she tells you you're a tiger. She tells you you're like a... <laughs> we had so much fun with that. Like, you're a tiger, right? And I'm going to have her talk a little bit about that. You know why that's like so much fun. But like whatever you're comfortable with, right? She, we, we will make sure that you're comfortable in the experience and that it's something that for you is unforgettable. So like Maddie, for you, 
why do you feel that like every woman that is watching needs to be a part of this event and needs to say yes? Um, I would say, um, just like Meg said, the and another thing, live in a time where social media, we're on social media, we're comparing ourselves to like unrealistic, like, you know, unrealistic things like people that, and we're living in a time where people just flying and going and get their little BBWs and all that stuff <laughs> and then flying back. You no, know, it's like, I would think, I would say to experience it, to just to see yourself outside and see who you can be, who you are, because you, like you may see yourself as one thing and then you're looking at the pictures and you're like, oh, well, like I'm, it's like I'm saying, it's me, it's me. So it was like a confidence booster. And like, they probably saw and like, you know, you judge and you thought was ugly. It's, you know, can be a beautiful thing. And like I said, like you only get, you only get one life. <laughs> you don't know what to happen tomorrow. So you might as well just go ahead. You just might as well just go and do it. You know, you only get one life. That's it. <laughs> might as well. Yeah. What did your What did your husband say about those photos when he saw them? I'm just curious. I just want to know, like <laughs> seriously, and like, like, let's be real. Let's be uncensored. Let's be raw. What was his reaction when he saw those photos? Like, I really want to know. I never asked. <laughs> My husband love the photos he really did especially when i show him like the little cut the one with my my booty because my husband like <laughs> had me pose against the wall with my arm up and my side so <laughs> it's the booty for me okay. <laughs> he was, so <laughs> and it, oh. he knows that uh insecure so he was you know happy to see that i did something that I did something for me. And and that's a, another thing. I, I usually, I'm doing things for everybody else. Everybody else. I'm always doing things. But the one person that I was forgetting about was myself. So, like, that's another reason why you should do it. Like, if you're just a person that you're just a servant all the time, just use that photo shoot as a gift to yourself. You know? Talk to them. <laughs> Talk to him. Let's go. And the husband loved the booty. Let's go. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Megan. All right, Veronica, why? Like, why should they say yes? Like, why should they be a part of this event? Talk to me. So, you know what? Um, boudoir is about expressing the beauty of an individual, okay? It isn't about being perfect. Uh, like having a supermodel's body or being the sexiest woman alive. It's about celebrating how beautiful you are and having photos put together either for yourself or your significant other. Um, other than that, it helps. It, it reminds you of that. It, it, it's, it's just when you walk away with such confidence and such a, a, a inspiration and i mean if you're following that diet it makes you even want to stick to a diet even more you know it's like okay some people say what do you bring uh bring your favorite sexy dress or gotta have heels gotta have spiky shoes I, you know if you're a size seven and a half to an eight and a half i have heels okay you, that makes your leg look longer you know um um you know I think a great oversized white button down shirt, especially for your group, because I mean, you can, you can take it and, you know, like unbutton it and just, you know, pose and, and like rip it up and, you know, in, in a, in a group shot or, you know, show some cleavage or do whatever, like, you know, oh yeah. Like, you know, you can do whatever you want. You can be free. You can just enjoy, have a great time. My makeup artist stays on site. Uh, mostly what I found is that um, 
the hairstylists, women like their own hairstylist to do their hair. I can have, I have an all female team. So, um, you know, everything is, is available to you. We're giving it to you for your group uh, photos. We're giving uh, an amazing, awesome price that you will never see again. Um, and you know what? It's about that individual expressing the beauty of an individual. Okay. Again, it's not about being perfect. It's not your size. It's just like, be who you are and be happy in your skin. And that's all I got to say about that. You know what? And I can't stress that enough. Like the price that we have for this event, guys, is on the 21st of this month. So yep. again, this show is not about that. So if at the end of the day, if you just see the show and decide that a photo shoot of any kind is for you, to boost your morale, to be, boost your self-confidence, to like boost your like like self-love. Like at the end of the day, like we have we have reached our purpose and we have done what it is that we have intended to do on this uh show and this broadcast. But this event, like what we're going to put together for you, it's like without a doubt, like the event of events, right? So you want to make sure that you're a part of it because we're committed that every single woman leaves that event, like feeling like, again, like I'm a bad B and like you either get with this or you don't. But at the end of the day, like I am who I am and you want to be a part of all this. But um, again, you get not just the photography and the, that experience with Veronica, but you get the makeup. And that transformation and like that, just like overall, like, wow, like this is what I look like when I take care of myself and I like commit to myself and I like say to myself, like I deserve, right? Like professional makeup and like someone that like knows and understands like my, my skin tone and my wants and my likes and my my all of that right but and that's what sarah offers right because again she has that background with mac but not only that but we're 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 having so many things that we're putting together for you guys but at the end of the day what we want you guys to get if nothing else from this live broadcast which was which been on blah, 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 which we have been on for 53 minutes. <laughs> Veronica! <laughs> right, which we have You're been breaking on up. <laughs> is that, like, you deserve this. <clears throat> I want you guys to get nothing more than, like, you deserve this, right? Like, we hear so many things, like, we tell ourselves so many different things throughout our lives. Right. And things that things that we deserve and we don't deserve. And just like, Veronica, you have something to say? Yes. OK, I, go ahead. I said, uh -huh. yeah, if you are going to participate in this August 21st boudoir group photo shoot, bring three of your most favorite sexiest outfits. I think you should let the women know that, you know what, in your group shot, if you all do, want to do the same thing, like an oversized big white button down t-shirt, you know, <laughs> and just that with a pair of panties underneath, you know, you can drop it as low as you want. Okay. You can, you can, you know, um, we'll take care of all the makeup and, you know, bring your spiky heels. All right. <laughs> We will take care of everything else, but definitely bring your favorite uh, shoes, your favorite three outfits. We'll pick, uh, you know, one of those and that, you know, we, we can do the bedroom shots, the chase shots, the, uh, out, the outdoor shots. I have a barn in my yard. I have a huge property. We could do a group shot outside if you want. So that's what I have to say. 
And then get your deposits into Chef Jackie ASAP. There's only 20 spots available. I know you have women who are interested in it and no, seeing there's it. There's like 15 or 14 spots available right now. Right? Okay. And there's no doubt in my mind that Megan and Maddie are going to be like, I've got to be one of the spots, right? Because we're going to have an amazing event at the end. And what I'm most excited about is that, like, that group photo at the end where we're like all wearing black or red we don't know yet we haven't decided and we're kind of like <laughs> yeah i envision it i envision it already with a you know you, like you see me you feel me you see me we see you we're, we're all tigers right <laughs> And lions sure. and bears. Oh my. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're a tiger. Listen, you know, and one thing that I want to say, and I have to say, and I, I'm like compelled to say, is like, Bernie, get your ass in this photo shoot. Can I say that? Yeah. Like, Bernie and Aaron, get your ass in these photo shoots. Bernie and Erin are her sister and her niece, right? And they're the reasons why I know Veronica to begin with. And I want them in this shoot because it's like, get your at. It's crazy how you could have like someone in your family that does this and you haven't experienced that because whatever it is that you're in, right, mentally, <laughs> I want them to be a part of this experience because I just want them to be a part of this experience. Yeah. Oh my God. Megan, Here's talk to mom. <laughs> Maddie, talk to whoever. Bring somebody else along with this journey. But like, I really want people to see this and be like, oh my God. I, I want people to see this and be like, I should have been a part of this. I want us to have the type of fun that really makes a difference in women's lives because they don't think that they can do this. They don't think that they can be a part of this. They don't think that like they have what it takes to be in a boudoir shoe. Yeah. And so I want to like, really like, you know, break the generational curses and the, 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 the things that they say, Oh, she need to stop it. She does so about She's nervous. Chinita, stop it! Check out her profile pic. Check out, check out her picture, y'all. So, final <laughs> thoughts, guys. What is your <laughs> final level of advice? What are your final words? What is it that you want to say to everyone that is viewing tonight? And like, what? Why is it that they deserve to be a part of this event that we're having on the twenty first? So, go ahead, Megan. Your first. Take it away. Just do it. You'll never look at yourself the same. You'll you'll never have the same level of confidence. Um, so just do it. Just do it. Let's go. Natty, you take yourself off mute. Yep. Same thing. Do it. Live, love, laugh, have fun. <laughs> and you can bring your own wine. <laughs> Veronica, why? What are your final thoughts? What are your final words to these women that are watching? Take yourself off mute and share. Go ahead, baby. Wait, you're muted. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> They took my took the words right out of my mouth. Just do it. You know what? We're going to have a spread. We're going to have fun. We're going to have a great time. The whole day is devoted to the the twenty uh, the group of twenty women. And you know what? We're going to make the best of it and have a fabulous, awesome, amazing time. You know what? You if you went somewhere else, you're not going to get what you're going to get at this experience because you know what someone might charge you uh $1200 and you're not going to get the the 
the uh, you're not going to get a glass of wine. You're not going to just have just be interested and and relax and have fun. And, you know, you just just the whole experience, the whole ambiance, the experience. Just do it. And just to make it clear, like it's at Veronica's house. Yeah. It's at her house. It's for a cause that's like out of this world. You're never going to pay this cost. Okay. So we're going to drop the details in the comment section. And we just hope that you guys decide to be a part of it and that you be a part of this experience. I have obviously had a boudoir shoot with Veronica. Megan has obviously had a shoot with Veronica. Maddie has obviously had a photo group, a photo shoot with Veronica. But like you have it, you have it, you. She's and I want you guys to know that like you deserve it. That like you deserve it. It's like a fraction of the cost. It's like out of this world what this price is, right? So we're going to post the details in the comments section. But we just want to, like, give you guys a heads up and, and acknowledge you guys for being a part of this event, of this show tonight, of this viewing, of this broadcast. And thank you for being a part of this conversation, Megan. Maddie, Veronica, thank you for your contribution to women well, everywhere. So we, because we have no idea who's tuning in, right? Obviously, we invite everybody to share this live so that whoever it is that is on your friends list can view this and see this. It doesn't matter where you are, right? I'm okay with women driving three, four, five hours to be a part of this experience. It is on the 21st. And we cannot wait to see who has allowed themselves to be a part of this experience. Okay. said she's going to walk. So I love you. Iris is going to have so much fun with Iris Rodriguez. So thank you guys for being a part of this conversation. Seriously, I cannot thank you enough. Thank you for making yourselves available. I can't wait to see what the event is like on the 21st. But at the end of the day, I invite you all to love yourself and to have the level of confidence that really makes a difference. Not that surface level kind of confidence. That's like, I'm confident. I love myself so that it's good for social media. Like the kind that really makes a difference. I love you. See you all on the 21st. Bye! Bye! Thank you! <laughs>